Whether it's cars, boats, stereos, aftermarket accessories can really enhance your experience with a product. And Smith & Wesson has figured that out with the Volunteer Series. What they're doing is they're going into the aftermarket space and working with companies to get the best products and accessories and upgrades for this Volunteer Series of rifles. So you kind of start out with a regular M&P 15 from Smith & Wesson, which is a great rifle platform, and you add to it. Starting at the front, PWS Primary Weapon Systems Muzzle Brake help reduce recoil. Then you've got a 15-inch handguard, all M-lock, all over the place. Gives you a lot of room to put accessories, lights, lasers, foregrips, whatever you want there. It also kind of takes advantage of the way people are shooting these days, getting out way out on the gun, way out on the foregrip, and, uh, and shooting that way. And of course, covers the barrel, less chance of accidentally grabbing the barrel, burning yourself. You have Williams sights pop up, uh, iron sights here, and then you have a whole series of B5 systems accessories, the stock, the grip. I like the stock. You have a little bit more real estate for um, cheek welds, so, and, that's, and it's ambi too. I mean, left-handed, right-handed. Um, it's smooth. It's not going to catch your skin or your beard. And then the straight up and down grip here kind of accommodates a lot of different shooting positions, whether that's standing or shooting in prone. It does have a flat face trigger and an ambidextrous radian charging handle. Very handy to have. A lot of upgrades on this rifle and fun to take to the range. I'm not going to lie to you, the Smith & Wesson Volunteer XV Pro is built almost 100% the way I would build an AR if I was going to put one together. And this is right out of the box. I like everything about it, right from the muzzle brake to the long handguard. Let's not forget about these metal flip-up sights. And speaking of sights, let's talk about a term, mechanical offset. Mechanical offset is the distance from the tip of this sight to the center of this bore line. So I have a drill that I want to share with you. I call it a matchstick drill. So when I shoot this drill, what I have my students do is I have them present the gun with the tip of the sight and that black dot. Where do you suppose the bullets go? We shoot this at 21 feet. Well, the bullets generally end up right here and I put a little reference mark for you. Let's go back to 21 feet and I'm gonna show you how it works. Generally 21 feet is the distance I'll shoot this drill at because mechanical offset has an effect on the gun until about 25 yards. Really at 25 yards we're talking about inch and a half, inch and three quarters. Okay, so since I put a sling on this gun, I'm gonna sling up. I wanna tell you what I'm gonna do is from here I'm gonna work up, safety comes off, press my shot off, gun goes off, resets, off sights, off trigger, on safe. And I'm gonna keep doing that repetition one at a time. So from here, I'm gonna present, trace up the matchstick to the dock, press off my shot, follow through, off sights, off trigger, safety on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep doing this. I'll have my students work that drill, single shot, one at a time, and then we'll work into controlled pairs, two shots. Now we're working on managing that recoil, keeping that sight picture. And when you look at that target, you can see that those rounds are going exactly where I predicted they would go. So after we've done a couple magazines of this drill, then what I'll do is I'll have my shooters, I'll say, listen, I want you to put them in the black dot. So now they've got to transpose those shots to that black dot. So when I come up, I've got to take a guess. Pretty darn close. So I'm holding about two and three quarter inches high. So next time you're out on the range, and you're working with your AR-15, whether it's iron sights, red dots, or magnified optics, think about mechanical offset. Next time someone says, put two in the head in the A box, you'll be able to do it. <laughs> 